What's up, guys? Hey, this is Christian Brindle with Six Fugga Medicare Agent. And we're back with another video, guys. Um, today, we're going to be talking about habits and how if you control your habits, you control your day, you control your schedule, you control your destiny. But before I get into this, guys, we got to talk about my favorite telemarketing lead company, and that's Lead Heroes, who's the sponsor of this video. Guys, Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to telemarketing leads, whether it's final expense leads, Medicare supplement leads, turning 65 leads. They just got something for everybody. They got custom calling campaigns to where you can literally pay by the hour to have one of their telemarketers do a custom campaign for you. You can design your own script. You can have them call in certain certain hours. They can do live transfers. They can do pre-scheduled appointments. Um, you, or you could just pay by the lead if you're more comfortable with that. They just got something for everybody, guys. Just because you watch this video, Lead Heroes is going to give you 10% off any order you make on their website. There's a coupon code that can be found down in the description as well as a link over to their website. So go check them out and give them a try in 2021. Anyway, guys, um, let's talk about habits. Um, and... For me personally, I mean, this is a very, very relevant topic for me because I have not always had the best habits in my life. Um, I've always had the habit that I'm here at the office. I show up to work each and every day, day in and day out. But there's a difference between rolling out of bed, quickly rushing yourself in the morning. Maybe you take about 10 to 15 minutes and just rushing yourself to get ready. You're stressed. You're racing to work if you actually go to an office. Um, and I feel like it sets the tone for the entire day. I'm a big believer that waking up early, and it just depends. I mean, I know people in this industry that get up at five in the morning, and not just in our industry, but and that are entrepreneurs in general, business people, um, high doers, high thinkers, um, thought leaders. Um, they find it incredibly, um, not just important, but necessary to get up at the crack of dawn, right? Um, they'll get up at four in the morning, some of these people, five in the morning, six in the morning. Um, me personally, on a good day, I like to get up somewhere between six to seven, seven being the latest. Although on a good day, I think it's probably either six o'clock or 6.30, something like that. Um, if I can get up at six o'clock or 6.30, that gives me time to do everything that I wanna do. So what do I wanna do in the morning? And this is what I mean, guys. Luck favors the prepared. And it might sound cliche, I heard somebody say very or, um, eloquently the other day that if something's cliche, it's probably because it's true. Because the definition of cliche, at least to me, in my mind, is that you hear it all the time, right? You, people say it all the time. Well, they probably say it all the time because it's true, right? So it might sound cliche, but luck favors the prepared. If you're doing everything you can do in the morning to make sure that you are exercising, right? I try to go to the gym every single morning and get a workout in. Even if it's a short workout, it makes me feel good. It sets the tone for the day to get my body moving and feeling energetic and working up a little bit of a sweat. Um, I like to read, I love to read. If I can get some reading done, even if it's just 20, 30 minutes in the morning, it's incredibly impactful for me. Um, if I can eat some breakfast. Breakfast, they say, is the most important meal of the day. There's done all kinds of studies that kind of show that and reflect that making sure that you're taking a shower, right? You gotta get the hygiene in order, make sure that everything looks good with you. Um, a lot of people do meditation in the morning, which is something that I've actually recently just started doing and, um, and factoring into my morning routine just to take about 10 minutes and just be alone with my thoughts, um, to just put myself in a very peaceful and relaxed state of mind. These are the things that you need, guys. You need these activities, you need these habits so that way when you start your day, you are spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically um, balanced. You are at peace. You are um, taking care of your mental health, guys. Because if all, of your, if all you're doing is grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding, then eventually you're, you're, you're going to burn out, in my personal opinion. I've heard, peop I've heard the argument for both sides of this that, you know, it's all up here. I agree it's all up here. But you need to get up here centered and focused and put in that right frame of mind, making sure that you're feeding your mind positive things, not just positive things, but things that help you level up, get better, um, 
you don't want to be necessarily, in my opinion, you know, reading The Hunger Games or Harry Potter every morning. Not to say that you shouldn't read novels or anything like that, but I'm trying to read things that make me a better me. They make me a better business person. They make me a better human being. They make me a better father. They make me a better husband. They make me a better mentor to people. Um, they just make me a better, a better employer. These are the things that I want to be feeding my brain every single day. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm healthy. I want to make sure that I'm eating healthy. I want to make sure that I'm going to the gym. All of these things are so important because when I start my day, I try to be here at the office every day at 9 a.m., um, when I, by the time I get here, I've accomplished more than most people will in their entire day. And that's the way you should be looking at it. Um, make sure you get enough sleep at night. There's so many people out there that they're like, hashtag hustle, hashtag grind, hashtag team no sleep. It's a bunch of bullshit, guys. They've done so many studies that show that someone that gets seven and a half to eight hours of sleep a night, even if they work less hours, they're going to get more done than someone that works more hours that gets two, three, four hours of sleep a night because they're sharp. They um, are locked in right here. They're taking care of themselves. And if you're not taking care of numero uno, my friends, that's you, you're not going to be able to be as good as you can possibly be. Who cares if you work 10 hours if you don't get squat done in those 10 hours? Who cares if you work 10 hours if you're tired, you're exhausted, you're stressed? None of it's going to matter. You need to be in line with your goals, your purpose, um, your mental health, your spirituality. I'm not even talking about religion here. I'm just talking about your spirituality overall. The more you can take care of yourself, the more you can intertwine your mental health with your goals and your targets, the better you're going to be. You're going to be a better business owner, a better agent. You're going to be better for your customers. You're just going to be a better version of yourself. Trust me, this is something that I have struggled with in my career and I find that it's more important than anything else. So make sure you get your habits right, guys. Um, there's so many books about this. The Compound Effect's a great book by Darren Hardy. Um, there's a book called, um, I, think, I think it's called Habits, I wanna say. I'll, 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 I'll probably drop it down in the comment section. Um, there's so many books that stress the importance of controlling your schedule. If you control when you get up, you control the day. If you can't control when you get up or when you go to bed, you have no control over your schedule throughout the week. And it's just chaos and madness. Um, make sure to give yourself time for that mental preparation every morning for physical well-being, mental well-being, and you're going to be a much better you. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just something I want to talk about. We haven't talked about a lot of these things on this channel, but I think it's vitally important. And it's something that I battled with in my career. You know, I remember you know, sleeping in till 10 o'clock when I was 23, 24 years old. And I just, I was off the entire day. And I wasn't as good as I could possibly be. Um, when I don't, when, when, I, when I have days that I go through my entire morning ritual, and I'll give you my entire morning ritual real quickly if you'd want to know it. I try to get up at 6 to 6.30. I read for about 30 minutes. I meditate for about 10 to 15 minutes. I try to have some breakfast. I go to the gym. I spend about 45 minutes at the gym. Um, with all of these things, including, including um, commutes and everything like that, I will try to get to the office by 9. That's, that's typically my, my morning routine, my morning ritual. I'll take a shower before I leave the gym. Um, and, I've, and the days that I actually am able to accomplish that, which is more days than not these days, but, but the days that I'm able to accomplish that, I just feel so much better throughout the day. I'm more productive. I get more done. It's just a better day. The days that I don't or the days that I slip up, they just seem to be... Um, less enjoyable, I get less done, I'm less efficient, and I just feel out of whack the entire day. Get a routine down, get your schedule down, um, and you're going to be better off for it. Mentally, you're going to be sharper, and psychologically, you're just going to fe feel more rewarded overall when you have a big win, and you're just going to have more big wins take place because you're better prepared. Remember, luck favors the prepared. Cliche, but it's only cliche if it's true. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Drop them down in the comment section. Drop a like on this video if you like this type of content, so that way I know that you like to see more of it. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an upload, and we'll see you next time. Have a great week. Have a great day, and here's to your success and your abundance.